Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with this by Kingdoms of Ammo at Reckoning on the PC. Last time, we uh, made our way here into uh, Helmguard Keep here, uh, where apparently the helmets are extra shiny because uh, Gree in here doesn't like to actually go outside and fight, so good for them. But we got a bunch of quests here, so we're going to go do some of those. Uh, we also picked up some new stuff from the Quartermaster here. I didn't uh, mess with anything yet, um, but I am going to go ahead and switch out my uh, my crafter's hands uh, chakrams here for I'm thinking for these uh, chakrams of the avalanche. Or actually, actually, no, uh, the um, the perfectionist chakrams right here, just for the extra fire, ice, and lightning damage. Uh, it's a little weaker, but not by a whole lot, so I'm not too worried about it. There we go, that's beautiful. And I don't think we need to worry about our staff here. We got the cold spike, which extra ice damage. Do I have anything better? Um, fire, chaos. I didn't realize I had this. Oh, I, I I haven't used this in a while. Never mind. Um, I don't think we need anything else for it. We could put on a long sword, but I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Um, I forgot. Was there a better staff that I could have got there? I don't think there was. Let's just make sure real fast. If there is, awesome. If not, well, oh well. Wind on the plains can howl like a wolf sometimes. Yeah, right, let's see. You'll have to pay. Let's see. Staff, now scepter, staff of gloom. Yeah, that's not going to be any better. Um, starvation staff, uh, that's not going to be any better. Scepter, no. Yeah, I don't think any of this is actually going to be any better here. So, actually, that'd be really good for meteor damage right there with the 15% fire damage. But I'm not too terribly worried about it. Uh, I might get that, actually. That's not too bad. Um, all these other staffs. Yeah, nothing good. And these robes. Eh, not really. Um, we can probably sell back the I was going to say we probably sell these back, and we can probably just buy them back from her later. Yeah, because we're not going to use those over the plus one um, and plus damage. Should I buy this staff of, uh, where is it? Um, no, where is it? Where'd it go? Well, that's actually... Not bad for the mana cost, but it has horrible attack power, so no nothing. Where did, where did the uh, the other staff that I was looking at go? Scepter, no. Oh, that's a scepter, but I never use scepters. Problem with scepters, they don't have any, any good, uh, what is it? Uh, they don't have any good AoEs or anything like that, which is unfortunate. Well, let's see here. Yeah, let's get this just to power up our meteor. Why not? People watch you buy. Sworn to All right, and let's go ahead and pop that bad boy on if we can. Secondary. Let's see. So, yes, it's a little weaker than than the uh, cold spike. Actually, fairly weaker, but it does still pretty good fire damage, and it has the extra extra meteor damage too. So yeah, that'll, that'll be worth it for a little bit. I guess if I really need the extra ice damage, i pop this back on. But we got so much extra <clears throat> damage in general from our chakrams that it's not that it's not that bad of a deal. Let's see. Nothing else here. Alright, do we want to put any of the new armor on? I don't think we really need to at the moment. Uh, let's see. Anemia and cow. Actually, let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and put on the uh, the precisionist cow for right now. Did I buy this silk cow? I don't think I did. Did I? I must have found it somewhere. All right, the robes are gonna stay where they are. 
the hand wraps, they're good for right now. And as for the shoes, those are good. Oh, that's right, we got, we got a new shield somewhere, didn't we? That we got, okay, that's the uh, might, which is going to be good for later. And then this is plus two to sorcery. Yeah, we'll lose a little bit of mana out of it, but you know what? I think we'll live. Yeah, there we go. Let's see how our sorcery ability is looking now. Yeah, everything's pretty much uh, maxed out, or at the very least, close to it. Okay, that works. I think I got like plus four to sorcery now, or something like that, maybe plus five. So we got Welcome plenty of talent points at the moment. Alright, so let's see where all these various quests are hanging out at. Alright, can we see anybody here in this area? Okay, there's, uh, there's Gwyn, who refused to talk to me last time, which is uh, fantastic of her. Thanks, I appreciate that. Okay, let's see. Quests. Alright, we'll go there soon. Lock and key, that's it. Oh, why am I on this quest? That's that's a that's somewhere else, right? Oh, that's oh I, I was I was thinking of the wrong quest there. Okay, okay. Um, lock and key. We go to that one. Let's see the unquiet bride. Where is she hanging out? Okay, she's hanging out in Candria, so we're not gonna get that for a little bit. All right, something borrowed. That's the moon camp. Let's see, scrolls. Okay, where are you guys hanging out? Okay, you guys are over there. It's unfortunate. Okay, Vane's luck. Hopefully you're nearby. Uh, you're not nearby either. Okay. So none of these guys are actually anywhere nearby, apparently. Okay. Okay, I guess none of these are actually anywhere near to where we are, so let's just go to the ancient vault then. Oh well. Alright, hopefully she talks to me this time. If not, I'll like save and reload and hopefully that works. I hope. Ah, there you are. A powerful relic stolen from our vaults and they send a single pledge shield. Have they gone completely mad? Who knows how many like it were in that vault and how many stolen already? Let's go in. We'll see what we find there. Don't worry not. I'm worth at least two blood shields. Alright, what is in there anyways? You'll see in a moment. The outer doors are open, but that's no concern. It's the inner door that's always locked. Only Grime has that key. In this vault lies every cursed, chaotic tool ever taken from our foes. Before we became simple mercenaries. Its doors, its walls, its very floors are imbued with magic to keep these dangerous and powerful things in, and everything else out. And how much you want to bet there's not going to be any good treasure for me to take, despite all those powerful magical stuffs. Mike Castellan dislikes dust and old things that aren't sung in a tavern, so looking after them, worrying about them, falls to me. Your Castellan? Do you mean that as like, wait, as like your boyfriend or like? Is Castella in like a rank? Cause I don't remember. This place is mine alone to watch. Once we had shields enough to stand guard here day and night, then the war came, and after Clericon they went. Now I come on my own once a fortnight and inspect the grounds. You can see where that got us. Maybe you should have come more than once every two weeks. I mean, maybe that would have, uh, maybe that would have uh, dissuaded people from actually sneaking in there. They were using it to summon Niskaru in those caverns. Terrible. This is what comes of forgetting and ignoring. You're far from it now, but it hangs over everything like a putrid fog. Its very Cora and Nelson Shear is Amaldor and commands the Warsworn at the front. Come, All right. this way. Let's just go ahead and see what we can get in here. Uh, let's see. I figured we'd be coming in here sooner or later, I just wasn't sure when. Alright, let's see, how big is this place? Ah, we got mages. Um, what kind of mages? That shouldn't be open. 
Do I even want to know what kind of mages there are in here? Probably not. Let's see, can I see anything from here? Um not mages. particularly. The same ones from Brigand Hall. You there, stop at once! Oh, it's just a uh, fey mages. Okay, I thought they were gonna be those dwarfs that like uh, tried to kill me. Let's see. Can I get you guys all together? No. Uh, okay. Well, they they may not be the dwarfs, but they have the same general abilities here. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, hello. Potions. Yes. Uh, yeah. Trying to get you guys together. Yeah, it didn't work. You guys are all spread out, so that's not good for trying to kill you guys. And I think her little shield right there, whatever she's got, uh, or D, or it, blocked my magic there, so that's uh, no bueno. Well, I didn't realize they had that stupid shield. It's the key to the vault. Or maybe a copy of it. Can't tell for sure. No knowing how many times they've been in here when they knew I wasn't about. We were lucky to come when we did. So, where'd they get the copy of the key from? That's my question. It was clasped in the leader's hand. I'll show it to Gry and Shane when I report to him. Return to Helmgard. Gry and Shane won't like this, but he'll have to hear of it all the same. You mean we can't explore the rest of the keep here? I must report to Gry immediately. Meet back at Helmgard, Pledge Shield. Uh, what about exploration? Is that, uh, is that a no-go? Salamander's tail. What are these, Fey Blades? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Not bad, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Alright, uh, I want to explore more of this, because we just got... Is this the whole area? This is the whole keep area here? Is this tiny little room? Unless there's like a hidden door or something and I'm just not seeing. Okay, let's uh, let's use the prismary lock because I don't feel like pestering it. Ow. Yeah, I should have noticed that, but yeah, I was looking at the ground, so that's my fault. That was a nice, easy treasure chest for us, sir. And nothing too good in here. Eh, good enough, I guess. Now, let's see. Hopefully the other room has something better for us. Let's see here. I'll take these. No more treasures over here. Gotta be something good in here. Hello, pile of bones. Greater Executioner's Handle. Well, that's not too shabby. Not that I'll ever use it, but it's not too shabby, I guess. Gold nuggets, very nice. I like those. I got a question for you guys. How long do uh, stuff you sell to a particular uh, merchant actually stay in their inventory? Like, <clears throat> I think they stay in there forever, as far as I can see. But do they ever like expire, like at all? Like the stuff, like uh, like the DLC stuff that I sold to the merchants or whatever. Is that ever gonna like get out of their inventory at some point? After like a certain amount of in-game time or something like that, so I don't. It doesn't seem like it's going anywhere, but uh, and I don't really care if it does. I'm just curious. Okay, so this is a very small area here, which is unfortunate. I was hoping there'd be more to do, but I guess not. Not really a huge fan of the look of this uh, new cow here, I'll be honest with you. It's kind of weird. Yeah, oh well. It's there. Might as, well ha might as well use it. It's got the good stats. Wasn't there another door here that I could have gone into? I thought there was. There we go, Cavalier Shield. Let's see. Ravager's Daggers. Eh, nothing great. 
thought there was a. I thought there was another. Ah, the hidden door. Okay, so we gotta go get that guy. All right, let's go grab that. I was about to say I knew there was another room here. I just wasn't sure if I passed it up or what happened there. Yeah, let's pop another health potion. I, I thought you could actually. I thought when you assigned stuff to this that you were assigning stuff to the D-pad. I didn't. I didn't realize that the D-pad had certain actions for each. Um, for each specific uh, potion or whatever, or like each specific uh, directional part. I thought you could assign it to it like that, but uh, th uh, thanks for steering me wrong there. Or steering me in the right direction there, I'm sorry. Let's see, yeah, a whole bunch of, yeah. Okay, so this place is exceedingly disappointing. It looks all grand and intimidating from the outside, and then you get in here and it's... Bleh. Oh, well. Alright, I don't think there's anything else we can do in here, and unless there's, like, another hidden door in here somewhere that they're not showing me, I don't think we're going to be coming back here for any particular reason. So, that was disappointing. Hopefully they have something better for us to head off to. I wonder what's down there. I don't think we can get down there, but what is down there? Eh, not a whole lot, I guess. Hey, it looks all grand and intimidating from the outside with three entrances, and then it's barely anything in here. Alright, back to the keep, I guess. Did uh, that Kudok guy respawn under the bridge? No, doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'll find him eventually. Alright, Grian, you want to explain how the uh, key got to somebody else there? I'm glad you're here. I've taken the precaution of jailing Gwyn. A bit heavy handed, I know. But this is a serious matter, and only necessary until we've cleared this up. That vault was hers to watch over. This can't help but put her under suspicion. Uh, I don't think that she did it. We have a small jail at the back of the keep. Useful enough between the freemen and other sorts you find on the plains. Yeah, I kind of saw that area. Well, on the one hand, she was always consumed with all that dusty history. But it just doesn't seem like her. Fact is, if not Gwyn... Someone helped those mages get in. But who? And how? Maybe some guy with the... Stealth... Skills? I don't know. I don't think it was Gwen, that's for sure. The vault was Gwen's responsibility. There's no getting around that. Until it's clear precisely what happened, she'll remain where she is. Yes, these mages, the Farlongi, was that it? They stole the relic, of course. But they must have had help from inside to get in. Your search must continue. Okay, but uh, where am I going to be headed off to? Things in that vault are fine for songs and tales of Eamon. They make the war sworn seem more legendary and grand. Eh, it's all dusty nonsense to me. Alright, so this key. Uh, is it yours? Was it a copy? What? She never mentioned a key. Withholding evidence as well. The girl brewed so. I suppose I'm not surprised. I do want to know what became of that key. Okay, so I guess I gotta go talk to Gwyn in the prison then to figure out where it went. Alright, how you doing there, bud? Howard Grind say... You're accepted here to this key. Good day. Alright, let's... Actually, you know what? Uh, while I remember here, uh, let's go ahead and use this... Repair kits on my stuff that I haven't been, uh. Yeah, I haven't been paying too good of attention here. Oh well. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna be using some of those anyway, so never mind. I just wanted to get the, uh, ones that were very low, like five. Contract boards right for the entrance. Alright, this jail should be right back here if I. Shield, brother. Yeah, okay, it's right back here. Don't gotta go too far. Armor shined, sword sharp. That's you know, Gwen, I could get you out if you wanted me to. It's up to you. Don't 
tell me you believe I had a hand in this. After all you've seen. This is a nightmare. I trust you. And that's where you're wrong. I'm guilty of looking too much to the past. Of trying to warn them this could happen. But Grime would rather sweep this under the rug. That's why I'm in here. Okay, um... You didn't show him the key. The key? God damn it, he was in such a rush to throw me in here, I forgot. Take it, show it to Grime. If it is a copy, I know a master locksmith in Tyrion's rest who might be able to help. Gee, how much are you going to bet it's going to be a copy that I'm going to have to go uh, take to Tyrion to help out with? Every cursed object from the times of the First Sworn we keep in that vault under lock, key, and other protections. It was only a matter of time before some villain found a way in. Does he think this will all go away after he locks me up? That those mages and their Niscara will vanish just because he shuts his eyes? Huh. I'll be alright. Just go solve this and get me out of here. As much magic and artistry has gone into that key as into the lock, casting a working copy would be no simple task. So it's probably the key from him that they stole somehow, not a copy. It is described in our histories. A thing of great power won by Aegon from an evil mage. We know little else. Before you found it, we didn't even know it could be used to call forth Niscaro. We didn't know it, but someone did. First, speak with the Castellan. If the key is a copy, then you must seek the Master Locksmith in Tyrion's rest. Okay, I'm guessing Castellan actually is a, uh, like a the rank or something. I thought it was like, uh, her calling him is her boyfriend or something like that. But no, it's just a, a rank, I guess. Why is this? No, oh, I was in here, I guess. Oh, that's the door that opens the all the other doors. Never mind. Okay. I'm trying to figure out why that one particular cell was open and none of the others. Oh, well. Pots, you can be spared today since I don't have very good aim at the moment. I don't know why. Welcome to Helmgard. All right, fella, here's your key. What's this now? A key found among the vault intruders. I see. Well, I can say for certain that it's not the original. That was the first thing I checked after you went off to the vault. Okay, so I gotta go As I told talk you, to the blacksmith The first then. thing I did was verify the key was safe and sound in its proper place. Which means what you found is an impossibly perfect copy. Ah, yes, the gnome. Uh, Tarion. He'd know something of how this was done. Did Gwyn suggest this? She always did have a head for these things. Although, if she's behind this... The gnome could be a trap. Be wary, Pledge Shield. Yeah, I can take care of a gnome. It's not going to be that big of a problem. Alright, so... See, he's in Tyrion somewhere. Eh, yeah, he's way over there. Okay. Alright, so we're going to end up in the Forsaken Plains instead. So, yeah, we're going to take care of that eventually. Um, I guess let's go ahead and... I don't want to start. I don't want to start it right now, right, right near the end of the episode. So let's go ahead and uh, I want to look around for those dang um, crudox one more time, real fast. And then if that no if that doesn't work, well, we tried. Let's see here, wolves, no. Bunch of wolves, bunch of nothings that I care about. Yotins. Cobalds, no. I wish I could check the enemies in all the areas instead of just uh, the area that you're in. But I guess it makes sense as why they did that. Because otherwise they'd have to put a lot of information on the map at once. Let's see, Boggarts. I thought there was one. I thought you guys said there was one in uh, Canterock here, but I wasn't able to find one. And if I did, I 
glanced over it. There's these Venom Spitters, but I don't see any of the Crudoc dudes in here. I'm assuming that they'd be hanging around the Brownies, since that's the guys they like to, uh... They like to take control of, or be the bosses of. Eh, oh well. If we don't find him, we'll live. We'll find him eventually. Okay, so we got started on the Helmsguard Keep quest here. Didn't get too far because, well, they gave us a very short dungeon. But next episode, we're going to go ahead and head into the Forsaken Plains and see what we can do over there with the training and the stagecrafting and all that other stuff. I'll probably have my equipment, um, or at least some of it, uh, redone uh, by the time the next episode starts. So we'll see what I managed to cook up in between then. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.